Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. We have an interconference showdown here in Phoenix where the Suns will be playing host. Doors for a couple teams that had high hopes coming out of the gate. Frustration starting to build, and you can even sense it with the fans. They're getting a little bit nervous here. And this is the critical stage where when you've gotten out of the gate slowly, it's your leadership that has to step up. They've got to have a strong voice in the locker room, not overreact to mounting frustrations, and just calm the nerves of the young players. It's important to keep your unity in tough times. One of the coaches always say, don't let go of the rope. Everybody's He's got to pull in the right direction. Same direction. Don't let go of the rope. Great point, Kev. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. ABC is out there with Boomer. Then there's the monster. Then there's the doctor. And it's Bellinelli in at the two-guard spot. Here's E. And that's a foul called in the doctor. That is his first foul of the game. Ref's calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Here's G. 11 points for him in that last game again. Shot clock at six. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Gallinari. Boy, that's 0 for 3 in the early going. Just a little out of sync. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. T the pass to G. Fader on the way. Gallinari pulls it in. No one near him on that one. And I'm not sure why he felt like he needed to fade away. And it's what? Here's T. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Now, here's Bellinelli. He's covered closely, and here's Gallinari outside. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And that one's good by G. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's the doctor, and there's the pass to the monster. Here's the doctor, beyond the arc. Knocks it loose. Boy, still not quite in rhythm, just one for four. Passes to G. T, Bellinelli is covering. Pass to E, shoots a three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. Gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And where's the help? Obviously a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Right, because otherwise you're going to give up those close range opportunities all night. If you allow the opposition to get into a groove, look out. Just 5 on the clock. Pass to Chi. Here's T. Good on the triple. Here's the doctor. Nine point game is last outing. He kicks to Bellinelli. T 
to the middle. Here's Gallinari. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Boy, seizing control right away. Send a message on that possession. G, no good. Well, I'll tell you, it hasn't been his best quarter, but we know he won't get discouraged. This guy will keep grinding. And Marco Bellinelli, a player who has always been able to light it up from outside. And, and Belly has been on so many teams in his career, but is always a wanted commodity due to his shooting. Very quick and easy way to add outside shooting to a team. He can honestly play a long time just on how badly teams need shooting in our league. Shooting two. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. So it's the visitors now. And offensively, that night, it, it seemed like anytime they took one step forward, they'd end up taking two steps back. It didn't seem, Greg, like they ever got any rhythm on the offensive end. They were in a hurry to get their shots off. Really difficult to win that way. Offensive rebound. A nice shot by Gallinari. Just doing the job on the backboard in the early going here pretty dreadful 22 percent T the pass to Chi here's E they shoot again it's deflected but they'll get another chance and he's able to get it back shot up two there gone five of nine from the field here in the first here's the doctor no points in the game yet for him there's Gallinari with the three. Rebounded by E. E's got six rebounds now in the game. Let's it go with the three. And that one's good by G. Being well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Hackett, the pass to Gallinari. From the line. Here's the monster. Rebounded by Chi. Boy, a kick out's probably a better option when the defense is swarming around like that. Count that bucket. T's got his second basket of the night. Boy, that's a quality shot. You're in the painted area. Don't get much more of a better look than that. Here's the doctor. Olinari with it. And there's the call on boss. That's his first foul. Here is Boomer. 11 points for him in that last game again. You know, he was also one of their key contributors on the glass. Uh, his effort was terrific. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. It's the first matchup of the season against this team, and he knows that they have great shot blocking. But he did say we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Put the bigs in high pick and roll situations and shoot the jumper with confidence. They feel that's the key, Kevin. That's great, David. Thanks for the kind of tough D they're facing today. He's hoping they can get off to a quick start. And it's essential. When you're facing a strong defensive team, the last thing you can afford to do is fall behind early. Agreed, Greg, because you're not going to mount a comeback against these guys. A strong first half is absolutely essential if they're going to win this thing. Here's the bodyguard. He's coming off a 19-point game again. To the left side wing. 
Clock at six. The three. They get it back. Brooks. Burns the pass to Gentile. That's tipped. There's the triple. And Atome pulls it down. Here's the bodyguard. Launches it. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Inside. Here's Detome. Let's it go from deep. The pass to the bodyguard. Kicks it to Brooks. Pass to the bodyguard. Shot clock at six. Tries again. Jump shot is good that time. And only 28% here in the first. A shoddy game offensively for them so far. Speedy the pass to Cowboy. Here's ABC. Down low. Here's Gentile. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. I'll tell you, this guy does some tough work on the glass. Battles as hard as anybody for those second chance opportunities. Doris, look in your crystal ball. Five years from now, who do you think will be the two, three best players in the NBA? Well, certainly some of the names. I won't say this is a definitive list, but as long as health holds, I'm going to give you three men who are going to be bad men in the NBA for a long time. Giannis Antetokounmpo, because the Greek freak is able at his size to handle it, take it off the window, and dominate action and transition. If he gets a consistent jump shot, forget about it. Ben Simmons, exactly the same thing. His passing ability is extraordinary. I think you'll see him get a low post game. And I think he'll get a jump shot, and he will be unguardable. And one of my absolute favorites is Mr. Joel Embiid. Give it to you inside, give it to you outside. Mr. Embiid can handle it. He can dominate with his defense. Those three men are going to be all-stars for a long, long time. It's good. Amazing how he gets this one to go. Size doesn't matter. What fearlessness, right? He likes to go at taller defenders, and he shows he has what it takes to get it done. Here's Gentile. He dishes it to Detoma. Pass to Burns. Takes the three. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. The pass to Speedy. Makes it off the glass. Speedy's got his second bucket of the night. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Here's the bodyguard. Here's Gentile. That three off the mark. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. And they'll keep possession. Here's Burns. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. To the inside, the Prophet, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Here's the bodyguard. Puts it up. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. Down low. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And it's six points for Speedy. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Here's the bodyguard. And again, unable to change momentum here. And that does it for the first quarter. The home team leading by five. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. I'll tell you, they've simply been more assertive in the open floor. They're leaking out early, converting with confidence. Being just 31% in the game. Brooks is out there with the wizard. Then it's the bodyguard, and there's Big Red, and it's Burns, and at the center position. The Wizard passes to the bodyguard. He kicks it to Brooks. 
Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. To the paint, Silk. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Silk's got his first points of the night. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Gentile, the pass to Brooks. At the teardrop, and the layup is up and in. Big Red's got his second bucket. I'll tell you, the floater is a shot that takes great touch, but that one looks pretty leaving his fingertips. Passes it to Silk. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. To the inside. Easy breezy passes to Silk. Down to five on the shot clock. On deep. Oh, good on that one. Here's the bodyguard. Pass to the wizard. Trying to find Brooks. He's got it now. Here's the bodyguard. Off target from three-point range. Out to the wing. Here's Speedy. The quick look no good that time. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. Here's Silk. Here's Speedy. Offline with his three. The defense lost him there, and he should have made him pay. That one goes in. The bodyguards got a second bucket tonight. Gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Here's the eraser. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Not going to fall. Starting off slow, he misses his first three from the floor. Silk passes to Easy Breezy. Bucket is good. I'll tell you, when he gets in that deep, there simply has to be some help defensively. The size mismatch is just too great there. Gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. And straight isolation basketball door is something we used to see a lot more. But for a guy like uh, James Harden, or Steph Curry. That's still a very viable option. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, if you've got the likes of LeBron James or Kevin Durant or Chris Paul, guys who are able to create their own offense, to me, you want to take advantage of that skill set. It's about what your personnel strengths are. So can you surround a great creator with the shooters necessary? Because if you do, all of a sudden as a defense, there's a price to pay if you're going to help off, right? Because somewhere, some way, the best offensive talent is going to showcase its skill. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Maybe not that time, but he'll hit more than his share if he's left open. The Wizard passes to Dub, and that one is good. Dub's got his first two points. Yeah, I'm not sure the defenders were anticipating that kick out there, and he wound up with a wide open look on the J. Pass to G from 15 feet away, and that's an air ball. Not even close. Gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Back to Gallinari. Now the pass to Hackett. Inside takes the 13 footer. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Here's Boss. Gallinari with the rebound. It's a neck and neck game in Phoenix. Next up, they'll face the Suns. That'll be in Phoenix. And that one will start off a three game road trip for the team. To the right side. Screen, screen, screen. Oh, the lob to Gallinari. Hammers the alley oop through. And you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. Here's Boss. He's coming off a 13-point game again. Lock at six. Passes it to T. From beyond the arc, got a piece of it. Alinari on the wing. They get the rebound. It's deflected, and they're able to recover. Goes up again. He takes it up and lays it in.
The Monsters got his first two points of the night. He gets 33% struggling to get good looks. Here's G. He's got six. Out to the right wing. Here's G. The baseline jumper goes down. This tug of war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Here's the doctor. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. A nice shot by Gallinari. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pass to Barnes. Softly drops in the floater. Here's the doctor. There's the pass to the wizard. To the middle. Here's Chi. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting shot. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Chi. both 38% in the second quarter offensively they look a little bit confused Alinari outside and the foul called on G that's his first foul passes to Mailey and it's good for two boomers got eight points well we've seen that movie a few times haven't we an easy bucket in the paint passes it to Calvin kicks it to G pass to E shot clock at five over Bellinelli and there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. On Sunday, then on Saturday. Being about 35% from the floor, not much falling for them. Hackett, the pass to Maley. Now, here's Bellinelli. Last time, 14 points for him. It's stolen by G. Ahead. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. I don't think the pass could be better placed. That's a great assist. Here's the doctor. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Maley. It's tipped. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. They get a hand on it. He kicks to G. Here's Boss. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Boss has gone 104 from the field. And the pass to Mailey. Here's the doctor. Over in the corner, Daytona. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. 
Nice timing to get up on that shot. Boy, you can't ask for better defense, Greg. Excellent work getting right into the grill of the shooter. This has been one of those nights where he's really struggled. And the team hasn't, but he has. To the inside. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. And that's ten points for Boomer. I'll tell you, he gets into terrific post position. The entry feed is right where it needs to be. Passes it to G. Here's Boss. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Bellinelli with the three. G with the rebound. Being a meager 37% for the game. 111 left to play here in the half. Cowboy passes to G. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. Being at just about an even 40% from the field for the second quarter. Hackett. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Here's Boss. To the wing right side. Fades back. And the shot is long. I'll tell you, his touch has been off all day, and now his judgment is starting to go by the wayside as well. That's a poor shot. Bellinelli passes to Maley. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. throw missing so both teams changing it up here and the free throw is good now leading by one five seconds separating the shot and game clocks Here's Speedy. He had a 12-point outing in their last game again. From 12 feet out. Wow, way off on that one. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. The Prophet passes to E. A stupendous finish in traffic. E's got his second bucket of the night. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise keeping everybody on their toes. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. The home team, they lead by one. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, what do you think? Well, they made a concerted effort to get out on the fast break. Dunks, alley-oops, run the lanes at every opportunity, and it's wearing the defense down. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Well, those second-chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. A fantastic game from Boomer in this one. I mean, he was prolific in that first half. You, you know it's coming, but it's just so tough to stop. 
And this is what he does, right, Greg? He's out there to score the basketball, and throughout that first half, he dominated. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. T is out there with G. Then there's Boss, and it's ABC, and it's Chi, and at the five down low. And here's Gallinari outside, rebounded by E. E's got his eighth rebound here tonight. We've got Boomer. Bellinelli is out there with the doctor. And there's the monster. And it's Gallinari in at the three. Right at the free throw line. Misses off the left iron. T's gone two for seven. Struggling a bit. She out there with ABC. Then it's T. Then there's Boss. And it's G in at the point guard. We've got the monster. ABC is out there with Boomer. Then there's the doctor. And it's Bellinelli in at the two spot. And they're moving it up. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Now we'd like to take this moment to show you the teams that a year ago made a trademark of scoring points off turnovers. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the identity. I mean, they really look to disrupt and cause problems defensively. And boy, do they take advantage on the other end. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. Mm, that will sting a little bit. Failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there. But he does tie it up. Here's G. A three-pointer is right on target. G's got nine. Just 34% from the floor. Here's the doctor. Dishes it to Gallinari. Shoots it up. Another shot. Had a hand on it. And they get it back. Has to hack it. Five to shoot. And there's the call on Boss. That'll be his second foul of the game. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Gallinari in the corner. The pass to Hackett. Six on the shot clock. Inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Pass to G. From down in the low post, it goes. G's got five points now in the quarter. He's got such soft touch around the rim. The D has to try to keep him out of the paint, because if he gets close, it's lights out. Hackett, the pass to going up. Here's Maley at the tip. Rebounded by E. Boy, the way he's been going, he is not going to be the guy to turn this around. Kicks it to G. He feeds it to E. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, they are not locked in defensively here in the second half. The intensity and focus haven't been there. Ellenelli finds Gallinari. And here is Bellinelli. There's Mailey. Off target from outside. A great job on the closeout, providing a lot of good D on the perimeter. Well, that's just superb effort on the defensive end. You don't allow the shooter to get into a rhythm from deep. Here's G. He's got 11. Unloads from 13. The shot comes out. They're fortunate to be in front given how shaky he's been from the floor tonight. The quick look no good that time. Gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. She. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets. Always the result of that extra effort. 
And his guys are getting frustrated. Coach just really kind of needs to calm them down. I think, Greg, they've got to continue to believe that the next shot is going to go in. He can hopefully communicate that effectively to them. Easy breezes checked in for ABC. Pass to the Wizards. Jacks up a three. Trains the three pointer. The Wizards got his first three points of the game. Gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Pass to Easy Breezy. To the middle. And the layup is good. The story boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Outside, Bellinelli drills the three-pointer. Bellinelli's got his second bucket of the night. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Fast break. Here we go. Here's the monster. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Uh, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Bodyguards checked in for Bellinelli. He hits the second from the line. On even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. And there's the pass to T. Here's Speedy. Here's Silk. And he gets it to go from the high post. Silk's got his second basket. 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. To the right side. Here's the bodyguard. The way up missed. Gone a solid six of eleven when shooting here in the third quarter. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Passes it to Dub. Pass to the bodyguard. This one for three. Good on the triple. The bodyguard's got seven points. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. The pass to Cowboy. Four on the shot clock. Here's T. The offensive rebound. Here's Easy Breezy. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. And a pretty brutal 29% since the break. The monster passes to the Wizard. Great pass to set up the lay-in. The Wizards got five points now in the quarter. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ball game. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Passes it to Easy Breezy. Here's Silk. Brooks covering. Here's Silk. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. I 
I think that's a case of nerves right there, guys. That was a pretty bad decision. Here's Gentile. Pass to the body. Here's the eraser. The pass to Gentile. Knocks down the three ball. Seven points in the game. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Well, you've simply got to push through that, right? You need to at least contest the shot. Otherwise, he's going to knock it down. Yeah, I think coach calls this timeout right now because he's not happy with the distribution of shots. Difficult shots, contested shots. You've got to get a better offensive rhythm. He's checked in for the wizard. Passes to Speedy. Pass to Silk. Down to five on the shot clock. They need this. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, in that individual matchup, the rim is totally unprotected. He's just got too much size on him. at 36 percent they really seem out of sync offensively. Here's Gentile. He has seven. Brooks left side. Out of hand on it and that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Just five on the clock. The bodyguard. No good on the quick three. Gone seven to 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Here's Silk. And Detome pulls it down. The drive by Brooks. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And that's now nine points for Big Red. Now the pass to ABC. And there's a whistle. That goes on the bodyguard. That's foul number two for him. And so here's the home team. Here's Speedy. Six points for him. Shot clock at six. And it's blocked. And he recovers it. And it goes down two points. 146 left to play here in the third. Gentile, the pass to the body. Passes it to Gentile. Here's Speedy. Eight points for him. Pass to Cowboy. The pass to Speedy. For the lead, misses at the rim. Speedy's gotten just four of his ten shots to fall here, shooting 40%. 
Brooks the pass to Gentile from downtown but they get it back oh, tough play underneath there to give them another possession just what they were hoping for a little more time off the clock and not even three quarters out of the way so many lead changes the fans guys are getting their money's worth heck I should have paid to watch this one it's been a nail bite here's the bodyguard seven points in the game burns the pass to the body trying to get open is Brooks and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up yeah the defender all over shooting two First one drops. ABC's checked in for Cowboy. Both shots good from the strike. Boy, his free throw shooting has been on the mark tonight. Nothing new there, right? Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Passes it to the prop. The dish to eat. And Big Red gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. There's 18 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Speedy. He's got 10. And a strong finish with two hands. Yeah, and, and guys, that's one of the more basic plays in anybody's playbook, but not to mention also truly one of the best. And Greg, the pick frees him up, and the dunk caps it off. Yeah, run your offense with that kind of precision. Not much anyone can do to stop it. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The home team, they're up by one. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with this. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Silk. Speedy out there with the profit. And it's ABC. And it's ABC in at the five. Here's Speedy. Golinari covering. Five on the clock. Launches a three. He can't get it to go. Just 34% from the floor. Here's Maley, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. What's up? doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Silk passes to G. From 15 feet away, that one doesn't go. Alinari wide open. Misses the chippy right there. No doubt it's been a rough game for him. I don't think he's going to lose any sleep over it as long as they hang on to the lead the rest of the way. Here's Boss. He dishes it to G. Misses the fallback J. 
Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And a, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Gone 0 3 to start the fourth quarter. To the wing on the left. Fires for three. Hits the three point bomb. And really liking the effort we see here tonight. Neither team giving much ground. And I think, Greg, you've got to love how much effort has been exerted by both teams. What a tight ball game we've got. Mele passes to going up. Down low. And they're on the break. Here's Boss. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Here's the doctor. Pastor Mailey. Shoots the three. They get it again. Jatome. And another shot. Can't capitalize inside. He definitely got nervous at the rim. I mean, he needs to make sure he finishes strong. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First one falls, so both teams making some changes here. Both good from the line that time. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. And I think, Greg, he just has to get them on the same page. With this kind of lax defensive effort, something has got to change. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. I told him, hey, stick with what's working. He said they're giving us all the room we need to get easy looks in the paint. Let's keep working the ball inside. Guys, back to you. And the shot is good. 17 points for Boomer. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Pass to G. Up and in from the low block. Gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Alinari on the wing. To the paint. Mailey controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boomer's got 19 points. Gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. And the pass to G. Fades and shoots. Unable to get that one. In the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. Mailey passes to Hackett. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. Oh. 
so he picks up just one from the line that time. Yeah, being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. Not the kind of strong finish it should have been. Something threw him off. Bellinelli gets the bucket. And that ties it up. And the home team has possession. T the pass to G. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Here's Maley. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Right at the free throw line. That shot is off. Being just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Alinari surveying the D. To take the lead. Hits it from three-point range. Time out, time out. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Not a like what Boomer has done in this game. Now he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. Here's G. Let's a floater go. Passes to T. He kicks it to G. And just miss after miss right now. And out of rhythm offensively, but he continues to work at it. Well, you can see he's sputtering a bit, but he's trying to get going. I, I do like that he's continuing to be aggressive. Dolinari inside the three-point line. Rebounded by Chi. Chi's got eight rebounds in this game. Over to the wing. Stolen. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Maley. Rebounded by Chi. She's got nine rebounds now tonight. T. Bellinelli is covering. T. The pass to Chi. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Marco Bellinelli. That's his first foul. Pass to T. Out to the right wing. G. Hits the three point bomb. G's got 10 points here in the second half. And they've had him bottled up here in the fourth. Just two of seven from the field. In the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. Alinari outside. And right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Alinari's got six in the quarter. And that's how you answer back. Well, you can tell that was a little give good, get good. Executed well on the offensive end, connects on the deep threat. Cheese shot is off. Gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. There's the pass to Maley. And the three ball is good. Boomer's got 22 points. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. And the wide open shot from Bellinelli. The quick look no good that time. Here's G. Kicks to E. Five to shoot. Oh, and 
and that one no question powered it down and that's an example of willpower right there guys I mean grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up strong and GA in a close game like this with every possession is critical that could prove to be a very big mm -hmm. one yeah he saw he had a huge opportunity to help his team score is tight knit and he comes through Aussie is checked in for Silk They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. That's an important shot right there, guys. I mean, he's produced from deep all game long. Yeah, he's done more work outside the arc than inside, and that's not going to change now. They'll ride his long-range game all the way to the end of this one. Here's Boss, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that <laughs> hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Now, with the score this close, guys, I am shocked at the lack of defensive aggressiveness. That has to be short up. And it's blocked. Here's G. Offensive rebound. And here's the fast break. Gallinari leading the way. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First, and that narrows the gap to one. And it's tied up with that one. And nice work at the line. I mean, when the game's this close, you have got to cash in on those opportunities. Twelve left in the fourth quarter. On the mark with the 15-footer. Gallinari's got eight here in the quarter. Now that's an old-school move right there. A good one, too. The fadeaway. T the pass to G. Get the teardrop. No good on the shot. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Well, that's just stellar interior defense. You can't ask for anything more than that. Here's G. It's good. A huge shot to tie it up. <laughs> no doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch basket. the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, ABC. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it.
50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hackett. Here's the monster. Alinari outside. No good off the back of the rim. To take the lead. Good! You can see right now, he's got a little swagger in his step. Looks like he's going to try and take this thing over. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Hackett. G with the rebound. And an intentional foul right there. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. the first one and that makes it a three point lead. He's off on the free throw unable to get that second one to drop in. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Boy, don't you love it. As calm as can be, seals the win with some tremendous work at the free throw line. Pass to Hackett, looking to end the run, and the foul on the monster. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and so they foul intentionally. on the first and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line and it's a seven point game. From deep 
missed. And so they get the victory here at home. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.